Hey, my loving and beautiful Cameroon family. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you so much for your words of encouragement. All the beautiful comments. I really, really appreciate you guys. So today is the 19th of March. Oh my God, how time flies. Yeah, so today we are going to be looking at construction in the French regions in Cameroon. Before we dive into that, let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay? So, so people narrated this story to me. So, this is what happened. So, I think there are some four African presidents in uh, Cameroon. And, like, people narrated this story to me. They said when the uh, presidents were, like, uh, uh, driving through, they were passing through the main road, the, the army or the police literally forced people to clap. Like they forced them to clap. Okay? Oh my God. And if like maybe you have something to do or maybe you are just passing and minding your business, they'll say stand here, stand here and clap. They'll say stand like this, face. Oh my God, you guys. I mean, it is really, really so sad. Like the people that narrated the story, you know, they, they felt like crying. Even I myself, you know, the thing really touched me like it st struck a chord. Like, you guys, it's really so sad. Like, how can you be treated in your own country? Like, ah, oh, 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 this, this country, this country. You're forcing people to do something, like literally forcing them and, and, and I don't know, is it threatening them? Oh, gosh. So, I mean, they also blocked the roads. Like, the distance that people had to walk, they literally blocked the road completely. People had to walk long distance to get to their destinations. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you guys. So, let's continue with the video. One day, it go better. So, there is this thing we say in Pigeon. One day, it go better. Hmm? I don't know if Africa will ever change. I don't know. <laughs> but the only thing I can tell anybody is if you have your opportunity to go out there, you know, and walk, you know, and walk, maybe you walk, come back and build Africa. Good. The, 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 the issue is just for us to go out there, walk, come back and build Africa, you know. So, you guys, let's dive into the video. So... We all know that there is an increased rate of construction ongoing in the French regions in Cameroon and the increased rate can also be attributed to the influx of people from the English regions of Cameroon. So the people are moving, people are relocating into the French regions and even the English uh, speaking Cameroonians that are in the diaspora, they are literally building in the French regions in Cameroon. So you guys, let's just go down the memory lane to scrutinize what triggered the whole thing. You know, I don't like to bring politics to my channel, but you know, once in a while. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, so it all started in 2016 because protesters were frustrated with the inflexible school curriculum that privileged Cameroonians French-speaking majority and kept English speakers at a disadvantage. If I'm wrong, please correct me, okay? Furthermore, they were tired of a legal system that made justice harder to get for English speakers because it was dominated by the French speakers. If I'm wrong, please make sure you correct me. So, the situation only got intense, causing people to flee from the English-speaking regions till date people are still navigating from the english speaking regions and now we have the question of who is making the english speaking cameroonians uncomfortable in their own region if you know this answer please correct me who is making the english speaking cameroonians uncomfortable in their own regions the influx of people into the French regions in Cameroon caused this high demand for houses. And it should be noted that this increase in demand initiated the augmentation of house rent in the French regions. Oh my God. 
like how friends now and mm. also you guys so many english-speaking cameroonians are now investing in the french regions due to the precariousness in their own region and uh, some english-speaking cameroonians are destitute at the moment like if you see what they are going through oh my goodness you know because so many of them they lost everything they lost their their houses they lost their businesses you know yeah they lost their properties you guys so and some of them are living in this poor dilapidated neighborhoods i don't know if i'm saying it rightly yeah like in this really really oh i think i showed i showed uh, i made a video you know like the slums you know like yeah like those those kind of old neighborhoods that they need renovation but i don't know if they can really ever renovate those kind of places you know that is where our brothers and sisters are living you know because houses are cheaper over there really really sad oh my god you guys it's really really sad this country really need to change you know anyways you guys without further ado let me know what you think about this let me know what you think about this topic you guys so you guys let me just take this opportunity to say something so i have like this uh, consultancy fee so now i took the decision that if anybody contact me if you want to get like some information concerning real estate or any other thing in cameroon or if you want me to go out there maybe you need a guest house or you know you just need to know the prices of things you need to get maybe you're doing like your construction and you need someone to orientate you on certain things you know to enlighten you on certain things like or maybe you just want to know the prices you know so i have like this fee and can you imagine that right now it came to my notice that when i like tell people like any cameroonian you know that contact me when i tell them to pay this fee they just automatically boycott me i don't know like they just automatically go mute on me and some of them will some of them even stop watching <laughs> it's kind of funny you know you want me to you want to come you want everything for free you want me to go out there and do things for you for free like i get the car i put gas i i, I pay the driver and i go out there my energy my time wasted for free like are you serious you guys people like wajimaya and the rest they are doing consultancy for 100 dollars and i'll ask my own people just for like 10 dollars and they cannot lose their 10 dollars on me like their 10 dollars is too much to lose it on me like <laughs> you guys oh my gosh this is really funny like it's really really funny and the last time somebody used me like oh i want you to supply this to my construction and the person just used me you know use me oh god